Let me see how you let me see how up with you folks. I used to be down here in the stockyards, I used to be chasing women, I used to be drinking beer, smoking my dope, listening to my worldly music. Sunday morning comes, I'll put on my nice clothes and I'll be at church. I'll be down there at the altar asking God, God, forgive me for my sins. Turn around. After I get out of church, go right back to the dope house, give me a gram of dope. I'll be up in a motel with a prostitute, doing my own thing, thinking I'm going to go to heaven. That is a lie from the pits of hell, and that's deception, folks. But I'm here to say, folks, before it's too late, turn your life over to Jesus Christ. I'm praying for each and every one of y'all. Jesus Christ loves y'all. He died on a cross. He shed that blood so you can be forgiven of your sins. Do you believe that? Or do you think this is all a fairy tale? I'm here to tell you to say there is a heaven and a hell. God's word says, choose this day whom you're going to serve. Either you're going to wake up and serve the Almighty King, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Mega, the beginning and the end, the Lord Jesus Christ, or you're going to wake up and you're going to serve David. The day's coming, folks. Don't wait. We're not even guaranteed the next minute, folks. Life is a vapor. We can all go just like that. But my question is, do you know where you're going to spend eternity, folks? Do y'all want to go to heaven? Or do you want to go to hell and burn for eternity in the lake of fire? I'm here today to tell you that hell ain't a party. You ain't going to be down there in hell drinking your beer, smoking your marijuana, jamming out to your Jason Bean and all that stuff. Hell is where a place is a lack of fire with gnashing the teeth in pure torment. Are you going to serve a righteous God? And when you come in heaven, Christ is going to say, Good and faithful servant in whom I will please enter my gate. But also the gospel says in the Bible that many will say on that day of judgment, Lord, Lord, did we cast out demons in your name? Did we heal the sin? Then we raise the dead. And the Lord Jesus Christ is going to look at them and say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. What does that mean? It means they was operating in sin and doing works in vain. But most of all, they didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. God demonstrated his love on the cross and died for you folks. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 6 talks about that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. What does that mean? It means fornicators will not go to heaven, adulterers, people who practice drunkenness, do drug addiction, pharmacia, watch pornography, will not inherit the kingdom of God, folks. But I'm here today to tell you that you can repent and ask for forgiveness if you practice those things. And God will heal your heart and cleanse you from all righteousness. We serve a faithful and just God. His word says he will forgive and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you believe that, folks? <laughs> John 3.16 says that God so loved the world, he gave his own Thank you. Thank you. Let me see you smile. Shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe that, Thank folks? You. Do you believe that the Lord One. Jesus Christ died for two. you? Or do you believe that the Bible is just a storybook or a fairy tale? I'm here today to tell you that Jesus Christ is alive and seated at the right hand of the Father making intercession on our behalf. How do I know that? I want to live a unrighteous, wicked life. I was bound by drugs. I was bound by alcohol. Amen. I was committing fornication, adultery, you name it. But I read in chapter Romans chapter 10, verse 13 says, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Jesus, amen. Amen. That doesn't just mean me. That means each and every person in the world. All you have to do is just hit your knees and cry out to God, and He will hear your prayer and come in your heart and make your spirit alive with Him. Hallelujah. Are you tired of living an angry life? Are you tired of living a depression life? Are you tired of feeling lonely inside? Cry out to God, folks. Turn your hearts to Jesus.